Hello, social media friends. I'm Jitsi Vasquez with DRB Media Communications Digital News, and Dani Barrera has the story. During the recent Odessa City Council meeting, the council discussed amending Section 8-1-6, entering restroom of opposite sex of the City Code of Ordinances. The amendment would protect the safety and privacy in restroom facilities for women and girls in public buildings. Women and girls are in danger when there's not clear rules and policies in place. And what we're seeing in our culture right now is people are trying to confuse people, they're trying to put pressure on people to question the beliefs between men and women and whether men go into men's restrooms and women go into rest, uh, women's restrooms. And so we see these issues playing out at the federal government level, in the presidential election, in state issues at our capital, and in local communities all over the state of Texas. Jonathan Sines, president and attorney for Texas Values, a statewide nonprofit organization presented to the Odessa City Council for more than the three-minute time limit on the protection of girls in public and private restrooms and the law enforcement of the bathroom ordinance. This ordinance that's been passed by the Odessa City Council has two different components. One is a role that the government has and another is a role that private citizens have. A lot of the feedback we get is that sometimes people are frustrated if certain government people don't want to enforce laws that are passed at the state level or maybe even locally. You get a change in leadership. Maybe it's your city council and someone doesn't like a law that was passed before and they decide not to enforce it. So this allows the government to have an enforcement and also private citizens um, that hear about something and want to step up and go into court and make sure that they can also protect the privacy and safety. Odessa residents and several members of the LGBTQ community voiced their opposition Position to agenda item 13 bathroom ordinance to encroach upon the freedom of the people that you and I serve will do nothing for them about council meeting is advocating for violence against people every woman I've ever spoken to openly has admitted that she's either found a way out of dodge real dang quick or maybe put up with a hug or a kiss that wasn't really wanted because she was afraid of what would have happened trans women suffer the same thing but magnified because now not only are they dealing with that misogyny they're then on top of that dealing with bigotry and people wanting to hate them people told to hate them by people similar to the gentleman that got more time than anyone else but supposedly just filled out a card that's also an interesting observation that he filled out a card but we got three minutes and he got what an hour and a half that's a heck of a card i want to know where he got that one the Odessa City Council voted 5-2 to two in favor of amending entering restroom of opposite sex city ordinance. After the City Council meeting, a request for an interview with City Councilman District 5 Chris Haney was declined by Councilman Haney. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera. Thank you for following us on Facebook, Instagram, X, formerly Twitter, and on YouTube. Visit our website, DRB Media Communications, News.tv. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, I'm Jitsi Vasquez.